Sounds like someone's in trouble. Chill out. Bro. Bro. Push back. Do not let them through. Okay, who else? Ow. What? We can't let them defile our home. How many more are they? Why are you not dead yet? I thought I killed everyone else. <laughs> oh, I did now. <laughs> Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength. And ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. Oh, well, thank you for the credit. At least finally someone. Everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, oh, your warriors seem green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. That's all I can do to keep them alive. I do want to loot, bro. Oh, give me a sec. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll this need place a lot is more beautiful. Than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using mm. what I learned then to fight against them now. Okay, where are we going? We may speak freely here. Alright. If you may stop for a second. Hello? So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Boss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights <laughs> better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter song. 
She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Oh. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We... I... will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raid. I found my niece in my corner that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have ever heard planted in the grove Thank here. Thank you for the crab rave trophy. No to knock will force me out. Do all of the time doing? carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we I'm die, awake. the seeds are buried. <laughs> a reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one. Do you think you the see? World. Doubt. <laughs> you would use that give every very few could, right? <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. You see, that's how I feel. Like, and even though I I uh, lowered them, like the sound, it's still super loud. So I'm like, what the heck? Oh, there's no convincing you to leave. I guess we're but I will try weapons. to face the tail. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow but me. But I don't think I can do any better than this, honestly. This way. Still low. You need it higher. Uh huh. Why don't I believe you? To keep With you those paws and a whole lot of mm -hmm. luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground. Are you agree with your pick list? Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. I mean, they are at max, sure. so I don't think I can do anything. But damn, you two agreeing on something? That's new. Almost there. Damn, this, this is the best is we can so do to hide those who cannot deep. fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. Okay. You want to knee? Oh no. You want this to is it. Do you have any questions? No. I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge. We need louder captain. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, there are. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Kim needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. I can get them without the machines even knowing I'm here. Yeah, but I do actually want to kill them all in here. I will try to be sneaky. Yeah, Baron. Okay. Well, hopefully. It's not gonna notice me. I want to start with the small ones. Go, 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 go. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's the big guy, there's that one and that one. Maybe I'm not small bomb, but the stone. Huh? Mines are spent. Mine's done. Okay. Coming by itself. Override 
I have that don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious song in my head. <laughs> Are you gonna follow me? I should have just killed you. I'm gonna get busted. Oh, there are more back there. Oh. And the override thing is gonna expire in a moment. Oh no. Uh, made some American pie. Okay, let's learn this one. Watching components and weak spot. Mm. I have two more skill points. Bombastic side oh. eye. Criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> Your Zerus. <laughs> I can't worry about why I'm not yet. I need more parts to fix the data I have. This is gonna end badly. I should have just killed it, really. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Please don't hear it. I want to silence strike the little thing before I attack the big thing. Okay. How did you not notice it, bro? <laughs> okay, I guess. Let's activate this. Let's see if I will do better. Ouch. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was an interesting bug. Or glitch. Okay, this wasn't too bad, actually.
Wait, did I mess up the quest? Because I need to collect the port thingy? Okay. Well, let's not kill the other guy then. Let's, let's, uh, let's go from this side. Do you want to kill the small one first? Match then. Time to get out of here. Got your I stuff. Got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Oh no. Yes, we're fighting again. Never a dull moment in this game. Actually, what is this? Oh, yeah. hit this time oh yeah that wasn't good enough what the let's flipping go okay that was not very good God, okay, it's time for no stop. Time to put on the face paint. Oh my god. I don't actually know if this works against that NG one. Oh, I hate you so much.
Uh huh. Okay. Uh. No ammo. Okay. I'm gonna try this. Wait, is this the short range thing? Whoa! Ouch. <laughs> okay, who else? Oh, there you are. Anyone else? was all of them. I kind of like this one. It's interesting, like a close range. Ouch. Guess these Ow. yellows knew how to aim after all. Even so, uh, long range. You this victory, um, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy Whoa. or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. Oh. It good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take Thank care. you. Be safe out there. Nice. Take care not to breathe in the air around the blind. Plus, it deals more damage if I don't move. So. Aloy, I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. <laughs> I'm just glad we're all back in Riverham. For good this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Thank you. Okay, do you guys think I can get either in an hour? <laughs> the first bloom of the winter song. Um, I can feel the heaviness of my ears fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own. Strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. <laughs> An ancient ruin turned into a Tanakh stronghold. Why? Ether be inside? It's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Since Regala's army only grows in strength. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true, but we are made of steel. We will not yield. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight. But still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated <laughs> Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Hey, we heard about this Hikaro. Is the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. 
who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. Mm. The chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Mm hmm I will say that for myself. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the ten. Glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as... as best we can. dedicated soldiers working together as a squad and sharing in their duty and when the time came for battle they took to the skies and leaped to glory all Tanakh seek to follow their example before the chief it was one of the few things the clans had in common data corrupted was the origin of executive order Blah blah blah. H. It used congressionally granted emergency powers to mandate the evacuations of post countries, counties in the region outside of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. Displaced families and individuals would be moved to temporary camps before places could be found for them in the habitable areas. To enforce the order, the government threatened to nullify existing water agreements between the Northwest and Southwest, Southwest, essentially turning off the taps for the so-called Tri-State HUD zone. To its supporters, 73 Age was a humanitarian effort designed to preserve resources and help climate-stricken Southwestern families start new lives. To its opponents, the order was a clear bait and switch. The federal government had broken its deal with Medina in a greedy land grab that employed eminent domain to seizing mining claims. At the same time, it would place southwestern refugees in fenced-in camps, what the fuck, which were quickly dispersed as 73 hell. A provision that incited immediate data corrupted. Touch this. 
ten warriors defending the most climbed mountain wall. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Must be great walking on sand with this slippers. <clears throat> Data Corrective exhibit shows holographic representation of all 7Gs in battle drone models deployed during the conflict. JTF-10 rapidly made a mockery of G since non-lethal approach. In engagement after engagement, whether it was a surprise artillery birch from the frigid slopes of Gold Mountain north of Big Bear Lake, or a desert ambush near the solar plants in the Nevada desert, or wings to jump into the jungles of Colombia to stop an attack on a rare earth convoy, JTF-10 soldiers repeatedly proved that state-of-the-art AI and newfangled weapons were no match for human cunning and data corrupted. What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the desert clan does the same. We must have passed through their territory on the way here. It did. They sound a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Hmm. From Mika Cardori, director, to Andy Wright, subject stuff instructions. Hi Andy, could you please inform relevant staff in maintenance, hosting, and security of the following opening and closing protocols? I've already briefed Dwight and Shania at music. Thank you, Mika. Opening the gallery rooms. Holographic displays should all be live 15 minutes before opening time. Inspect showcases for smudges and wipe with dry coat if necessary. Inspect other areas for temperature and humidity. Closing the gallery rooms. Make sure the cleaning robots have finished their sanitation runs. Double check for restocking of supplies. Sign off on cleaning, usually with net. Escort cleaners to staff entrance. Final runs, hand over to night security through music. Exit through staff entrance. jungle those were the ten yes they knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike generations ago my clan the lowland looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest okay let me Scroll carefully written Karja clips with Fashav's personal mark, evidently part of a diary or journal. From Dekka, the wise and patient chaplain of the Lowland clan, I finally learned the answer to a question that had long vexed me. Before my capture, the only Tanakh I ever had a conversation with, if one could call it that, was a prisoner at Sunstone Rock, who spoke of taking the blood and children of her enemies as her own. Her rent seemed to confirm the lurid stories about the Tanakh I had read in my youth. Yet in all my time in the Forbidden West, I have never seen such barbaric practices. I wanted to know if there was truth to the prisoner's words. 
There was, those were the old ways, Deca clarified, dating from the constant warfare between clans of years past. Since the ascension of Chief Hekaro, such practices had been outlawed, though not completely abolished. A few stray recalcitrants and exiles still clinged to them. Cling to them. Intriguingly, the acts themselves were never as malicious as the Karja portrayed them to be. Tasting the blood of a fallen foe was meant to honor their martial deeds. And, or and orphan children were taken from conquered settlements to be raised as equal members of their new clan, which was considered to be a merciful outcome. I cannot help but see myself in this context, an orphan of sorts, taken in by a new tribe. It has been easy and there are still those it hasn't been easy and there are still those in the clan lands who would reject me. Still, the more I learn about my new people, the more I see a nobility that the Karja have omitted from their records. Hmm. Okay, well, what, what do you want? Do you have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. They have some interesting hairstyles. I must give them find this. Us? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh. The ball parts are. The others were going to bury it in the dedication. <laughs> but then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but. Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to yeah. sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. Oh, another side quest. Okay. If you do, then bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Data corrected, corrupted. Exhibit allows us to hear their final moments. Using an interface donated by Sterling Malkit, we can listen to any flight recorder that employs the industry standard Air FR encryption protocol version 3.5.4 or later. Simply place a black box in the interface to listen to its contents. Please maintain a respectful silence as you hear the voices of the fallen. Huh. Is there something else here? My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. It should help me to find any others that are still out there. Okay, let's go talk to Chief Akar. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the um, actual the covering of either today, but well, the it's chief okay. Is... Wait, ah, I skipped it by accident. No, oh, good. Come, I wanted to scan the data point. Damn. It's underneath the throne. Oh, he is missing a hand. Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. 
and defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. He's a big man. Big muscle I'm man. For sure of there too. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I mean, that's a fair asking. However, I have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here in this to situation. Save more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone. You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. The Cinch Regala seeks to undermine me. She is certain to attack it. Yeah, she will. Definitely. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. Okay. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. I mean, and let's talk with him. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I mean, I, I think it is. Forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, right. she went He's mad, buffed. called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. Yeah, yeah. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation. One she will never be free from. 
So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. Maybe we're going to be able to have a good agreement between the Karja the and... Route? Where once the clans Tanakh. fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parley with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. Mm -hmm. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Uh. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respects strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Katalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is main. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Katalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. What are you doing, dog? When I had finally Chill slain out. all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east. And a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies. And Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke. And what they said changed everything. Hmm. What did the old one say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. Faraday. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, 
You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Okay. I'll do I what believe you, want you and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. If you succeed, speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. I figured it's not going to be that easy. Like, I'm just walking in, getting either, and then done deal. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. This room is dedicated to the memories of Roberto Medina, who financed and led the campaign against the federal government and its fleet of General Synthetics battle drones. Colonel Edward de la Hoya, commander of JTF-10, the brilliant strategist and veteran soldier who held of numerically superior federal forces. Colonel and Faraday. Okay, we know who Faraday is now. The legendary orator who oversaw early reconciliation efforts, and all those who lost their lives during the campaign and at the Battle of the Mojave. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Mojave? Mojave? Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. Oh? You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Great. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. <laughs> I like her. She's cute. Dear precision arrows are now available for one of your sharpshoot bows. Compressed air blast. Use them to remove armor plates from top opponents or detach use of components. Okay, that's useful. Hello and welcome to the Holo Tour of the Moyave Battlefield Memorial Museum. This tour will guide you through all of the museum's exhibitions, giving you broad insight into the Hudson Crisis and the tragic battle that took place on these very grounds. If you wish to start indoors, press 1. If you wish to proceed directly to the crater exhibit, press 2. But before stepping outside, make sure you are properly protected from dust and heat and help any children in your party. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I'd better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. 